dude, I'm innocent. Hey, man, don't be... That's cool. Can't you chase a dude who wanna be chased? This cut is just my style. You're too calm. Don't tell me you didn't just see me. Bring Look it where you're going. Look, I can run all day. Kevin. All right, we're talking about short guys, killer bees, the Magna Carta, chip. Uh, well, the red light on the wall is flashing, which means that the owner of the station has an important announcement to make. Let's go live to his office. Hello, my name is Donald Love. You're listening to a Love Media Station. Ah, uh, stop treating me like oh, a I'm bitch. Can I get a squig of that? Out of my way, man. What you touching me for? Go ahead, man. I hey, got you. You touching me for something, fool? Come to Papa. Are you getting bored of this? You got 
issues, officer. You look like a punk, bitch. Bulls, I ain't done shit, man. Try and build up a combo. Hey, yo, get the fuck, man. I got you. Y'all safe. Y'all safe. Safe. Come on, bro. I'm really proud of what I've achieved in my life. Don't blame me. Blame society. Now don't be an idiot. You lack skill and confidence. Yeah, I got a nice haircut, man. Keep quiet, you won't get beat up over no bike. Prices. And besides, who are you anyway? Can't you see that I'm wearing my I Walk Stir t-shirt? People are so inconsiderate. Well, you'll get no argument from me. I mean, I get every inconsiderate moron in Liberty City calling into this show. I mean, people think that I have no feelings whatsoever. Exactly. Hey, uh, another man, perfect example. Life. The other day, I'm over at the hospital to have lunch with my girlfriend, Cherie, and this maniac comes right up on my bumper, flashing his lights, and I'm like, hey, guy, the light is red. You can't just... What can I say? I'm a bad man. Yeah, it's heat, but you I'ma put in some work, you know? What's the You ain't gonna catch me, bitch! Dude, I'm this late cut for all night. I'm staring at the face of your bills, getting how George Washington looks. You came to box it, it's flat out dirty. Just name the spot and I'll be there a half hour early. I write for the purpose to express a few this whack. You would that I don't like as a It's a dead end. Uncle Sam takes care of his boys. And some girls. If more people would join the military, this would be a better country. And I tell you another thing about me. These kids don't respect veterans. We fought for your freedom. When I came back from the Australian-American War, I didn't get a hero's welcome. I didn't get a pat on the back from my friends and neighbors saying, thanks for fighting for our freedom, Jane. After years of fighting in the trenches, I come back here and every here and every here and every here and every here and everyone's watching TV. Now, can you tell me what this Australian-American War was? I mean, I really never heard of it. God, not another one. Have you read it? Does this really make you happy, officer? I think you should go see a shrink, officer. Yeah, I love this cut right here. Ah! What are you saying? Ah! Hark ass bitches!
ain't no banger. <sighs> My fate? Yeah, it's all right. I'm innocent, Popo! Issues, lady. I didn't do shit, dude. Give me a break. Yeah, you think CJ a bitch, huh? Oh, you think I'm a bitch, huh? Yeah. I'm oh. What y'all waiting for? This is a rest! Police officers are coming through! Who fell down the well? Help. <laughs> Here you go, Pogo. Have a big watch. Rescue a cat out of that tree with your banana cannon, Pogo. Here you go, Pogo. Have a fast car. And help Pogo to his final mission to storm the White House with his friends and become President of the United States. <laughs> Pogo the Monkey is the game kids are sure to stare at for hours. Everyone loves Pogo. Idiot Gamer called Pogo the best spring and simian game since Bouncing Bananas. Buy the game Pogo the Monkey today. Right, Pogo? And coming soon, Pogo the Monkey card game, Pogo the Monkey plastic dolls, Pogo the Monkey quilt covers, and Pogo the Monkey car covers. For the dad who has everything, why not a Pogo the Monkey tie and sports jacket? For the lady in your life, why not Pogo the Monkey chocolates and hygiene products so she smells like a real monkey? And for kids, a life-size, living, breathing, springing monkey. All available at PogoTheMonkey.com. All right, Liberty City, this is your talk radio show, Chatterbox, where your opinion matters. Let's go to the phones. Hello, caller, you're on Chatterbox. Hey, you ever had possum? That's some good eat. Nah, <laughs> I really can't say I have. Well, you don't try it sometime. I tell you, man, it's good eat. Possum, raccoon, even zebra meat. It's pretty good. Uh, do you have anything else to say, or...? Pigeons. Pigeons are good, too. Sometimes... They come with notes attached, just like a fortune cookie with wings. Squirrel. Squirrels is not so good. They taste like goldfish. Meat's real stringy. You know what I mean? Um, actually...
Mr. Faye is straight gangster. You scaring the kids. I'm listening, honest. Oh, for sure, it's tight. Good looking. Oh! Uh. Yeah. Blink up! Oh. Uh. Whatever, little bitch. I see you never face a dragon. Hey, you making me paranoid and shit. Grove Street is positive, dude! Run while you can! Crazy blind boy. I'm a priest, man. Step aside. Get your fat ass up. Stay close. I'm in the Peace Corps, man. What you do is... My mom told me not to get in the cars with strangers, dude! running about. GSF, punk. Punk ass bitch. This cut? Oh, thanks. Come on, Jake. Give me a break. Damn. Ugly bitch. Ah! Who told you how to fight? Hey, I don't want to see you around. Fuck you. Hey, I don't mean to be rude, but you repulsive. Yeah, good looking. You looking to stop with me? You look like a fool! My fade? Yeah, it's I. Mind and body, things have really changed for me. Our modern society only celebrates a select few. Every woman and every man is a star. You gonna get slept now. Issue things like that death isn't an end, it's just a stage and also a beginning of a new journey. Do you have a leader in this weirdo cult of yours? Not a cult, a coven. There's a big difference. Yes, our leader's name is Phil. 
that's a weird name for a leader of a group of witches. Oh, hi, Phil. What hairy legs you've got. What with being a man who's a witch and everything. <laughs> Do not disrespect Phil. He teaches us the wheel of the year, Amy. It's full of solar holidays and goes round and round and round. You can learn a lot from the sun and the moon. If you look at the sun for too long, you can go blind, meaning it is something to be respected. And the moon has a dark side, just like we do. And some people have craters and only a sixth of gravity. The ancient Britons knew the moon could breathe. We can change the world, rearrange the world. It's dying, though, Amy, and it needs some mouth-to-mouth -mouth resuscitation, like a swan or a fish on a hook. If you take your nervous system seriously, if you take your organs seriously and explore them, some really neat things... Morte has promised to all of us. Ain't you got a leash? Things. The knife ceremony is very important and spiritual. It's an ancient one-person personal crisis. You say to yourself, I'm going to have a spiritual experience or thrust this thing into my head. Life at... You're going to be sorry, punk. Yeah, I'm pretty G'd up, player. Well, you making my stomach turn. Oh! Let's move on. Son of a bitch. Come on, fool, I'm GSF. Whatever you say, on, punk. Man. Hey, you making me paranoid and shit. The bay is straight back. Let off, oh, homie, you out your mind. Don't crawl back under a rock. Computer. Computers are evil. The Luddites of ancient Britain know this. That's why they destroyed the computers that created things faster and more efficient and took their jobs. Oh, shut up. Computers aren't evil. It's the people that program the computers that are evil. That's a pretty big difference. I'm talking to you through a computer right now. In fact, I am a computer. Well, anything that can think faster than me is evil. Anything which doesn't dance or sing or cry or wear a smile. You create your own reality. We are like the dust in the wind. We are golden. We've got to get ourselves back to the garden. Okay, okay. It's on now, fool. Yes, poor man, so lost in ill at ease with his father, son, and mother me, nature. Girl. I hope he oh, finds shit, what he boy. needs. And I need to take a commercial break. Gas, good luck. Gethsemane. Yeah, I hope you find what you're looking for, and I sincerely hope you whew, take a bath. We'll be back after this. You're on K-Chat. Don't go away. Hi, I'm B.J. Smith. In my long and illustrious three-year career at the top of pro football, I worked some serious ass and got paid for it. They didn't call me death and tight pants for nothing. When you have such a rewarding career maiming others as I have, you know how to stay fit. Through running, wrestling, stepping 20s on panties of boxes, fifers, firearm training, nasal suit, and being the hell out of your fellow man. That's what keeps me healthy. And now, using training methods I perfected, it's going to work for you. With BJ's Fit for Football, watch those pounds fall off. I'm down to 300 pounds using exactly the method I demonstrated on tape. 
I mean, who are you going to trust to get you fit? A man who can rip your arm off and beat you at the wet end? Or some aerobics instructor who wouldn't get drafted by the local hopscotch team? Hell no! Thanks, G. Hey, I don't want to see you around here. I'm going to kill. What are you doing? Hey, you making me. Get out of here, ugly bitch. A massive brawl with players who are degenerates, egomaniacs, and criminals. The other's football. Yes, but it's all the same. No, Amy, it isn't. Anyone can hit a home run. In baseball, you stand around the field, dividing your salary by 162, waiting for some action. Talk to a guy who just played an hour of football. He's been in the trenches getting Agent Orange sports drink poured all over his head to keep him from taking an innocent life. One is a game for men, the other is a game for pansies who like wearing button down shirts. They call baseball a national pastime. If that means making a million dollars by standing around all day, count me out. I'll work for my money. Yeah, BJ, 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 just like me. I can tell you. Yo, baby, it's cool. I just want you to know what I did. I do. Jeez, get over yourself. You must have a testosterone imbalance like all those jocks who shower with other men. You can't tell me you don't look at other people's business. Baby. I played professional sports for 14 on, years, including high school, me. and I...